Lisa, now you're running for uh, Guilford County School Board at large, and you too are a mom, you have kids. Tell us a little bit about uh, your concern. I have two children in public school. I have a 10th grader and a 6th grader, and one of my major concerns is the lack of safety and discipline in our schools. I don't know how many of you have traveled the hallways of a school lately, but there are lots of safety and, and discipline issues, and that is one of my major concerns. Yeah, and starting in the classroom with uh, teachers there, too, I mean, uh, uh, what you've shared with me is uh, these teachers need the ability to, to do what they're paid to do. They do. I have teachers that email me and call me on a regular basis that say, you know, we need a voice. We need you to help us. I had a teacher that approached me in December of last year who said, we had a student today, a third-year sophomore, 17-year-old convicted felon who brought a loaded handgun to school today with a bullet in the chamber and we need your voice, we need your help. The teachers don't have a voice. They need a voice so that we can know as taxpayers and as parents what is going on in those classrooms. Yeah, and, and what's going on in the classrooms too is also a reflection, I think, too, of what's happening at home. Those are some issues that we need to, to work on as well. But also, with the teachers, I mean, where, where can we make that change with teachers and giving them a voice? How, how can we support well, first off, we have to hold our administrators accountable by telling the administrators and demanding that the administrators support the teachers in their endeavors. You hear that? That's where it begins, right there. They've got to support the teachers. When teachers refer students out of class for disciplinary problems, then the principals need to do something about it. Don't just send the kids back in the same classroom and put all of our kids at risk. Okay, and talk a little bit about that alternative school. Uh, I... If you haven't visited our alternative school, we have an alternative school in Guilford County with 80 seats for 71,000 plus students in this county. Um, there's a problem there. There's a problem that if a student brings a loaded handgun to school that they don't have uh, the, the rules in place to send them permanently to that alternative school. And I believe that students deserve an education and that all students deserve an education and we should educate the whole child. But you know, where do we draw the line? Because if it's a same student with repeat offenders, somewhere we have got to say enough's enough. That's right. And I know you believe that in the school system, we have got to make some in improvements there. One last thing in, in regards to the accounting and, and the budgets there with the schools, uh, just elaborate a little bit on where you are with that. Well, I think as taxpayers and with the conservative people that are here, I think they will agree that we're all sick of senseless, tax, senseless taxes. And I think as a uh, taxpayer in this county, 44.8% of our taxes are going to support our public schools. So I think we need transparency in where our money is being spent. And is it being spent equitably? And is it transparency and equitably? That's what we want to hear. Thank you. Lisa Engel, clap for Guilford County School Board at large. Thank you.